Hello, hello everybody. This is Kirusho here, and now, before I do begin, let me give a brief little review. In the last part, we had a number of events happening. Now, we had Izuku and Nejire. These two were both dealing with some quite unique situations. Izuku, after what happened back at the manor, he encountered the smart zombies, aka the infected that work behind the scenes. Now, Izuku, he was quite alarmed, and he is tired of getting their warnings. Don't go against them. Don't try anything. Just be a good little infected and stay in his place. And Izuku, he's not going to follow these rules. They've already stepped close to his territory, where his people are, and he decided it was finally time to go find All Might. And he did. Meanwhile, we had Nedre. Nedre heard that Tomiki was shot, and overhaul, he decided it was time to head back to the manor to try and help out her friend. Now, this spiral. When they got back to the manor, Nedre talked to her friend. She also learned that it was Bakugo and Kendo who ran, took supplies, resources, and shot him. And then she confided in her friend the whole story. Everything that happened to her. What she found out about Mirio, and about how she can save his life. Tamaki was quite alarmed. He's had a change, everyone has to survive. But Nedre, she died, and she came back, and she infected him. Before the manor, it got swarmed by a military group. They came in for retaliation. Since this group, it has been poisoning their supplies, and they were not able to do much. They used their Humvees with machine guns, and even and the grenade launchers with incendiary grenades to take them out. An attempt they made. Anosa got shot, and then there was where Kami was a little hurt, but everyone got to the garage, where Melissa, she unveiled the latest vehicle she's been creating, and that led to them driving out of the manor grounds while Tamaki, he held the line. He got their attention with a grenade, and then began firing. He made sure the military, they were more preoccupied with him and the chaos he was causing them while they got away. And he was gunned down. The last thing he remembers was seeing that vehicle drive down the road into the city. And then, just laying there, beginning to feel happy. He was okay. He did it. He became a hero. Mirio would be proud. Now, with that being said, let's currently cut over to the group in that truck. There was a lot of debating. A lot of things they needed to do. Overhaul was trying to make sure Setsuna, she isn't about to give birth. If our water breaks, they're going to need to get somewhere safe fast and find a way to make sure she can stay quiet enough so she doesn't draw in zombies like a dinner bell. That's the problem. And then there's Anosa, who was shot. I mean, right now they can just deal with him in a minute. I mean, the wound, it doesn't look too bad. If anything, it might have just gone straight through the arm. It's going to hurt for a while. It needs antibiotics and painkillers. But for Setsuna, this could be a life or death situation for her, and not just her. So they need to hurry. And Melissa, she is driving down the road. Currently, her going to tell everyone to brace, as the massive truck does some smashing into a barricade of cars. Right now, the attachments to the front of it smash them out of the way as the cars go somewhat flying upwards into the air. Them smashing out of the way 
as Melissa does get to shift the car back into the next gear. Currently her going to speed up more before she does go down the road. The lights of the master truck still on. And everyone, they're still worried about what happened. I mean, they get to UA and what? They prepare it for winter. They try to do anything. And Nedre does sit there. Her standing up and stepping to the middle of the room. Telling everybody. Right on her to make sure she can stay steady on her feet. This is a bit of a problem. No shit. You think? Hey. I'm going to stand. Currently Todoroki expressing. They couldn't have predicted this. Besides, everyone just stop. Stop what? We came to you guys because we thought we'd be safe. I, I mean, that didn't last very fucking long, did it? It wasn't our fault. Was not your fault? Those guys attacked you. I would assume they attacked you for a reason. Not even just that Bakugo left you. That Kendo girl. Everyone began to sort mumble. Before Melissa does do one thing. Her putting the truck in neutral and beginning to slow down. Everyone hearing the engine beginning to stop. Where the vehicle... It is a silly move to a crawl before finally smashing into a car and going to completely stop entirely. Her turning and standing, talking about it. Okay, that's enough. All of them, shut up. <sighs> Why? What should we do then? Head to UA and try to fortify it? UA it does have fortifications, guys. Really? The zombie guy that you're with is supposed to be there, right? How can you trust him? We can. Okay. Listen, I don't expect you to understand, but we know we can trust him. All of us do. Right? May trust him, and she's there 24-7. I've been there for a while, and he hasn't done anything. Has he not? He hasn't. He saved my life. That's what he's done. Along with that, Momo, you willing to join in? I... <laughs> Nedre. Not the best time? No, it's the perfect time. Setsuna expressing. Currently her going to try and stand before Chizuki does bring his hand up telling her not to do that. I gotta say something. Are we sure? This is the best idea. If we head there and he's there, I don't, I don't know. Is UA safe? I'd say it is. May's been working on trying to fortify windows, closing them off. And the parts of the school that are destroyed, uh, we've been working on it. There's a lot we can do. Momo. Yeah? Todoroki somewhat whispering with her. Before someone does get to hear the name Deku, turning their head, still not sure what this is, and Edre does talk about it. Okay, maybe that's not the best time to bring this up. Todoroki turning. Hmm? What? Don't bring him up? What? Says so not turning, asking what's going on. Before Melissa does express. Okay, okay. Listen, right now they can't deal with this. They need to get everything out in the open. Okay? Can they all agree to that? Before something comes and finds them, she'll get back to driving after all this is sorted. If it's going to come out, then they might as well just tell her. T tell me what? Currently, Nedre turning her head and telling Melissa, Drive. She can handle this part. Her walking over and going to sit down. Bring her hand onto her friend's shoulder. Expressing. There's no easy way to put this. <laughs> P 
put, put what? Listen. The zombie at UA, we can trust him. I know that for a fact. Todoroki knows it. Melissa knows it. May knows it, and... I think... You should know it. Bakugo and Kendo knew. <laughs> are you done stalling? Or are you just trying to keep me distracted? Okay. It's a Zuku. Just not turning. And being confused. What's a Zuku? Wait. Say, say that again? The guy at UA is a Zuku. We don't know how he came back, but he did. There, there, uh, how, how, why didn't you tell me? Her goes on stand up, and right now, Setsuna does get onto her feet, annoyed, where she's at turn and begin pacing on the truck as it is moving, and this is not very good. Before the truck is finally going to pull to a stop, and Setsuna does stand there. Her going to turn as someone they do to stand up. Currently going to try and move out of the truck before they do a slip. Their foot sliding in something as they smash onto the stairs. Currently them hitting onto their ass. As we do actually have where Taroki, he does a turn. Currently, him seeing Tatami going to someone sit there. Her bring her hands up. Okay, who spilled? Ew. Turning her head. Unsetsuna, she does not stand there. Currently, her trying to hold in her breath as she does feel a lot of pain currently in her stomach. And everyone, they immediately realize what's happening. And they do need to move quickly. Currently, Nedre stepping out of the vehicle and going to run over. Her going to show that she can climb over the fence very quickly. Her getting on the other side and walking over, opening it up. Before she has to throw open the gate and the truck does not move past. Her waving it along for turning and yelling out for the zombies surrounding the fence to move. And everyone... They do to watch on. Currently, Nidre walking among the horde. And the people who are new, they watch these things part like the Red Sea. It's horrifying. It's impressive. It's unnatural. And that, it does go through their minds. Currently, Chizuki going to stand there. Before he's at turn and ask questions to a few people. Trying to at least categorize all of their injuries while the truck drives up to the building. Now, let's currently cut over to Izuku, who he's been dealing with quite a bit. Currently, him being sent flying through the air and sent crashing through a building. Him smashing through it as it is a collapse before he does smash the one behind it and then the third one. Him finally stopping the building as Black Whip does have tendrils crawling out. And they did help Izuku grab onto something to slow down his descent. Currently, him pulling himself out of his all might, he's a fly at him. Him leaping through the air fast. And Izuku, he has a power up one for all. Currently, him leaping off at his amazing speed. Him throwing his left hand and smashing it in all might. All might taking the blow as Izuku, he does go to watch him fly down towards the ground. Deku going to throw his hands down as Black Whip does a shootout. It smashing the ground as Izuku does a pull himself down, crashing to the ground, and then go to step forwards. Currently, him moving in his all might, he does it appear. Izuku going to jump up and headbutt the man. Currently, all might having his nose break before Izuku does a throw up his right hand. Him going to bring it up and go for All Might's eyes. Since if he can blind him, I'll have the chance to infect him. Just give him a minute, if not at least 30 seconds. 
take out one sense, and then fix it later. Heal the hero. Not on Izuku's mind, but All Might, he immediately does a lurch forwards. Currently, him bring his hand up and grabbing Deku by his hand. Him beginning to put pressure on his arm as Deku, he does a black whip shootout. Danger sense going off before Deku, he has to bring his foot up and go to smash it down in All Might's fist for bringing up his left hand and punching All Might across the face. Currently, him going to begin moving backwards as the number one hero, he does go to step backwards. Currently, him going to move back as he does going to take Deku's hand with him. Izuku feeling the limb be pulled off. Now, Deku, he does look down at his hand. Currently, it missing a good patch of skin along with it gone past his wrist. And this does not look pretty good. Him looking down at that before he does a look back up and see All Might who does begin to smile. And that grin, it should have filled him with hope. But now that he sees it, all he sees is the monster, bloody and hungry. The big man himself. And this is where Zuku, he does go to stare. Currently, him bring up his left hand and bring it forwards, shifting his legs before he does a think. He's got to go up higher. Try and use more of this power. Okay. 30%? 40 No. He needs something fast. More? Him hearing the voices in the back of his head. Before Deku, he does go to move. Currently, All Might staring at Deku before he does disappear. All he does is see is a flash of lightning. Before... He does, being a punched in the gut, as Deku, he does go to throw his hands out forwards. And All Might, he immediately does a pop backwards. His left side taking a blow as a slight 10 feet. Him taking another blow to the right and moving backwards, before dropping Deku's hand. And as Deku, he does a throw his right hand down. Currently, Black Whip shooting from his wrist and going to grab the limb, pulling it back in, where Zuku he does a move forwards again. Him smashing All Might with a fury in the chest. And All Might, he's to take the attacks and slide backwards. Him smashing into a building as he does go shake the ground. And this is where All Might, he does go to step back out. And Izuku is trying to think about what he should do. About how to handle all of this. Because that was new. <laughs> that quirk he liked. And he does hear the voice mentally coaching him as to how to use that power. Telling him again how to properly use it. Make sure to be ready. Danger sense going off. And Deku does a spin, throwing his hand up. All Might being there to take the blow to the face and throw his hand down. Him smashing down on Uzuku's shoulder with a massive chop. Currently, Deku taking the blow and feeling his entire arm at his shoulder pop out of place. His arm going limp, as All Might, he has to move forwards. Currently, him throwing down his teeth as Deku is to bring up his right arm. All Might smashing his teeth down to Izuku's forearm, and Deku, he does his own smile. Before he does go to throw his arm out and feel Black Whip reconnect the bones in his left arm. Him bringing his hand up and grabbing in All Might's hair. Before he does a throw himself in All Might more and let him chomp down further on the arm. And the number one hero is gnawing on the arm. Teeth down to the bone as Deku, he does feel the pain. And All Might, he does go to let go. Him smashing his hand out and grabbing Deku by the head. Him squeezing his Deku as I feel his skull begin to feel odd. Him stepping backwards as the number one hero is spitting blood. Deku stepping backwards as well and feeling his eyes bulging out of his head. And this doesn't feel well. His brain... Not... Right. Steady. Steady. Him looking back up. And his skull 
it does begin to try and heal. However, Deku does do what he can with Black Whip. Currently, him trying to mend the wounds for the moment. And this, it does have him concerned. Currently, him bringing his hands up and covering them in darkness. Covering them with a quirk. And all might, he does a look back up to Suzuku. His eyes narrowing and seeing what Deku's wearing. As currently Izuku, he looks like a massive shadow. He looks as if he's covered in armor. And he does a bring up his hands. Before stepping off again with lightning. Him throwing himself out forwards and smashing All Might in the face. Before All Might, he does go to slide backwards with his arms crossed. Before he does begin to step forwards and go to reverse momentum. Him leaping off with a shockwave and moving at Izuku. And Deku does a move forwards as well. All Might throwing his hands down to smash Deku into the ground. Send him under the city. And Izuku does a throw his hands up. Currently, him throwing them up as he has a stop All Might's attack. And the two, they do to feel the shockwave and crater they do get a form. The force exerted, smashing both of them further into the ground. And this sound can be heard all across the city. Some people turn their heads. And currently, at Yue, there was where Mei, she was working. However, she heard that sound and was concerned. Since she was already hearing some screaming in another room. And when she investigated, she found Dr. Chizuki attending to a long-awaited patient. Now, Chizuki, he currently has some assistance. Him telling Momo what to do along with trying to tell Mina what she can do. Since she's a member of the undead, she needs to keep all the infected away from the school. And they are currently as a turn, leaving as Chizuki does get to tell someone to get Eri out of the damn room, since this isn't good for her to see. Now, people do begin to leave, and there is Nedre, who does sit there holding the hand of her friend, turning when she heard that sound. And it does have her worried. Though Setsuna, she does go to turn. Her a lot more worried about what the hell that was too. Since that was new. It sounded like a boom. And she does have those thoughts flash back through her mind. Her nearly in panic. Her scared and afraid. About what's going to happen next. We do have back over with Deku and All Might. Deku does stand there. Currently, All Might pressing down with all the force he can. Trying to crush Deku as he does have the lightning from around him. Him staring up at All Might with his glowing eyes. And the man, he does continue to exert more force. Deku bringing his claws in and digging them in All Might's hands. Before he does could have Black Whip shoot through and spike through All Might's arms. Him firmly in place. Now, Black Whip does a de-wrap around Deku's face. Currently, him expressing, Toshi. And All Might does his stare at Izuku. Currently, Deku using more of one for all and pushing All Might back. Currently, him making sure the two are at least on even playing fields. Currently, them both exerting force as neither of them are giving. And Deku talks about it. It's him. Izuku. It's him, All Might. Can he remember? Izuku. Where? We're in the city. Still. Do you remember yourself? You have blood. You got blood. Right? Come on, talk to me. I know you're in there. I know you're still there. Otherwise you would have gone into the power. Please. Deku is staring at the man. And All Might, he does have that look of recognition. That look of reason but his body is moving on his own. And this, it does have Deku worried. 
currently him feeling all might pushed out with more force as deku he does go to do one thing he does go to throw his arms to the side and slice into all might's arms currently him tearing some chunks as he's a step forwards throwing his foot up and kicking all might away and the man he does get sent flying currently deku goes on stand there and begin to think danger sense going off as Izuku does see some flashes currently him seeing a flood and this does alarm him him staying there confused before he's a turn right now him hearing the screaming of someone and this does alarm him smoke rising and hearing a saw these things go into his mind and this does make Deku a lot more alarmed him feeling a massive strike before he sent flying currently him going to stand there and feel his body wrecked now izuku he does lay on the ground the armor is still around him and his ribs they do begin to reset they do begin to heal and all might he does go to move forwards him looking at deku and bring his hands down grabbing Deku by the arms and beginning to try and pull him apart. Him still in the Black Whip armor as he does try to rip his arms off, pulling and pulling and pulling. And Izuku, he does try to resist this. He's trying to wait out a timer, one he's not even sure exists. If he still does operate like normal, he can only do this for a few hours a day. And if that's the case, it should work. He is already infected by his blood. But why isn't there a change yet? Too powerful, too strong? Or maybe... Maybe that's not the issue here. Mizuku, he does go throw his foot up. Currently, him smashing his foot into All Might's throat. When All Might, he does get pushed a little bit further away. Deku trying to keep his own arms as Black Whip is a smash down in All Might's leg. Currently, it going to hit directly into the leg and part All Might's kneecap. It splitting as All Might's fall forward into the ground. Still pulling and pulling. Before Izuku, he does a send Black Whip on another attack. Him impaling All Might in his sides. Him going for All Might's elbows and going for his other leg along with the idea of cutting off circulation to his throat. Black Whip also sending a tendril out, slicing across the man's eyes. Before All Might, he completely rips Deku's arms off, and Deku does feel the pain, along with feeling the sides next to him and on his arms come off as well. Currently, Deku falling onto his knees and smashing down. While All Might, he does gonna feel his limbs go limp, Along with his eyes go to black out. And everything is not very good. And Deku does a look up, staring at the number one hero. Currently him fallen on the battlefield. However, he does little watch All Might begin to try to get back up. On those broken limbs. On those separated and torn muscles. And this, it does surprise him. Him wheezing out air and going to fully stand, turning back as his mouth is watering. And this does alarm Deku. Him climbing back to his feet as All Might does a step forwards. Deku going to throw his leg up as Black Whip does a shootout. It currently pouring out of his arm, or where his arm was, as it does a strike All Might. Currently the whip smashing out his Deku does a strike All Might. It slicing into his arm, before he has a move forwards. Currently, another tendril shooting out from Deku's left arm and going to move out. It smashing All Might, who does go to try and attack. Currently, him moving forwards. And this is not very good. All Might reaching out and feeling the strikes repeatedly smash into him. Deku moving backwards as one of the tendrils do to shoot down and reach out for the arm. It beginning to grab into it before finding a firm grip and pulling it back in. Deku feeling it smash back into his arm or he's a look at his hand. Him beginning 
through Twitch's fingers as he has a form of fist, keeping it that way and stepping forwards, smashing and drinking all my with 100% of one for all. And this immediately does a rip the air and cause a massive fireball. It smashing into All Might as he does goes to send him flying away. And Izuku does go to watch All Might smash away blocks away. And everyone in the city heard that sound. And there is over at the Red Tower where someone, they saw something quite interesting. They saw a massive ball. And currently Deku, he does stand there. Him feeling his arm as he does get a turn. Currently, him twitching his left hand for wiggling his fingers. Closing his hand in another fist and staying there. His arm smoking. And All Might, he does go to turn. Looking around for the hero. Currently, him stepping forwards before he does go to see the man. Currently, him going to sit there, laying in an indent in the ground. Currently, Deku walking up and seeing the hero. Currently, his left side being small. Along with a massive hole, he just punched the number one hero. All Might sitting there as he does try to stand back up. The more muscular side going to reach out. Izuku. It's me, All Might. Yeah. Deku, still feeling the blood from his wounds, bring his hand up to his mouth and going to do one thing. Biting into his wrist and tearing off a piece before stepping forwards and bring his wrist up and beginning to pour the blood onto All Might. And All Might... He does begin to feel it seep into his wounds. Feel this interesting sensation. And All Might, he does uh, look up, currently looking towards Deku. Before he does, gonna hear someone clapping their hands, turning his head. My, my. That was quite something, wasn't it? Deku staying there turning and looking at Sernadai. And he does get a step forwards. The man expressing, bring his hands up. No, no, no. No need for that. Listen, he hates to wash the scene, but... Ah. <laughs> he needs to stop now. Stop what? Listen. You don't understand what's happening here, do you? If you don't stop, things will get more difficult. I know what you're going to do next. And let me tell you, it isn't good. He's at his end. He's alive, isn't he? Listen, I don't know what the hell all of you are. But you... I know you. You are Sir Night Eye. You used to be a hero. As far as I can tell, whatever you turned into is a monster. And you were a monster as well. I had to survive. I don't know how long you've been the way you are, but let me tell you, after everything I've had to do, the people I've lost... I at least see that I'm a monster. I care. Yes, you do care. A little too much sometimes, don't you? <laughs> you want to move him. You have a few minutes. He should be sufficiently fine to go. Go? Yes. Before... Well, the horizon begins. What? Not I gonna turn. Before he does, he'll quickly move and run off. And Deku, he's confused. Oh, what? Oh, that was 
cryptic. Turning back, walking over and seeing All Might. Currently, him watching his injuries, trying to mend. Them beginning to regrow. And this, Deku, he has a bend down. Before he does ask if Toshi can hear him, bring up his hand. And Deku does begin to feel the connection form. It took a lot of blood and a lot of tough love. But he does feel All Might as if he's another one of the infected he can control. Though he does feel his mind. It's there. He can hear it. But it's faint. Okay. He needs time to heal. Whatever has happened to him certainly has kept him busy. Deku bending down. Picking up the former number one hero and going to pull him up. His outfit old, tattered, stained with months worth of blood. Months worth of viscera. Months worth of damage. And he does go to carry the number one hero in his small form. Before Deku does a leap up and smash onto a building. Him turning his head and looking towards UA. Before turning back and seeing the tower in the distance. Concerned. Before he does hear a sound. Him looking down to All Might. Who does hold his right weakened hand up, pointing towards the water. And Deku does a turn, seeing... What the fuck is that? And this does alarm him. There's something out there. It's too... No, no, no. No, that's not right. Is it... No, 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 no. Shit. This on his mind. Currently, him going to turn and move quickly. Since that is a massive object coming from the shoreline. And if he sticks around, then if it hits land, it's going to do a lot with that water. Being displaced all at once. And currently, Deku does going to move. Him Heading back to Yue as fast as possible, since it being on a hill might be the safest place, especially with those walls they do have. But if it does reach, then it's going to be a bit of a problem. Now, Deku, he has a smash down at Yue. Him staying there as he does go to set down All Might. Currently, him sitting down with the number one hero, with his mentor. And the man does begin to emit a small grunt. And we do currently have downstairs. A lot has been happening. Deku and All Might fought for a while. They were going back and forth with the group they were dealing with Setsuna. And she does this one let us another scream before there is Dr. Chizuki. Him turning and yelling for someone to do exactly what he's saying. The bag over there has what they need. It has the painkillers she needs. Someone else turning before Momo does express her concern about all the blood she's seeing. And Edre, she is trying to tell Chizuki about what they need to do. And the man, he is trying to coach her through everything. With one arm he can't do much. Right now, she needs to be his hands, and he'll tell her what's right and what's wrong with the situation. They just need to keep her stable and alive. If something bad happens, he'll tell her what to do. And he will intervene if necessary. Intervene? Yes. Now just shut up and keep going. All right, Setsuna, can you hear me? Her is letting out another scream, being a bit more distressed before Chizuki does that turn, yelling at Momo to get what the fuck he told her to get. Her currently holding up two different things, him staring at both of them 
for taking the thing on the right as he does gonna tell her to get a needle and be ready to inject her <sighs> shit okay okay ready <sighs> a second hold on currently momo getting a needle and filling it with some of the liquid before she does gonna walk over and bring her knee up currently chizuki grabbing Nedre's hand well grabbing Setsuna's hand and forcing her palm flat him holding on to the palm of her hand as momo does that put her leg up on to her elbow beginning to inject the syringe directly into a vein chizuki pointing out what she needs to do and she doesn't understand Setsuna, after a second feeling the painkillers beginning to set in and I'm trying to relax a little bit more as there is where she does go to pass out and this immediately does alarm everybody Chizuki walking over seeing the situation with her before he has a turn back and he has an express looking at Momo get out but you need my help. This is bad. She needs to be conscious, doesn't she? I said get out. I need to think for a second. Just give me a minute. I need to talk. But what about Nedra? I just She needs to stay with me right now. As far as I'm concerned, step out of the room. And if I need you, I will call you. Just fucking get out. Momo, a lot more alarmed. Before, she said turn and quickly move. Her wanting to at and rinse off her hands since this hasn't been a very clean procedure now Chizuki when the door immediately to close he has a turn to Nedre expressing he needs her to do one simple thing for him what I need you to tell me if you can fix what I'm about to do She's losing blood, and as far as I'm concerned, she is not ready yet. This is bad. We're at risk for... We're at risk to lose both of them. She is not going to make it much longer. Okay? I need you to do me a favor. Jizuki bringing up his hand and going to grab his glove by his teeth. Before he is up, pull it off and drop it to the ground, expressing he needs her to fix him. Before he's at a turn, and remember Chizuki, he's about to take a risk that is either about to pay off, or it's going to cause problems. Though from what he has researched, his quirk might be able to at least counteract some of those effects. Okay, activate it on something first, then activate it on something else. If he's right, he can rewire his hand and then use it again without a problem. That's how the left hand stayed, at least for a while, before things began to mess up and the entire arm had to be taken. So yeah, if he can do this correctly, he's got one chance to save these two. Though, it might cost him another arm. Without it, he's going to be a very bad doctor. Now then, Chizuki, he does not bring his hand up, ready to do what he can. And we do have later, where Deku, he arrived and was sitting there with All Might. He was not sure what to do. He saw that building. He saw that place heading towards them. What is that? If it's a giant creature, then that's going to be a problem. But no, no. It was large. Very large. Hmm. Okay. This isn't going to be good. Maybe... Okay, All Might's passed out, so you can leave him here for right now. As far as you can tell, it's not that cold. 
It doesn't look like it's going to rain, so they should be fine. Though those clouds are rolling in. Shit. It might snow soon. Okay. This will be a good thing, though. Find out the places they haven't fortified. Find out what water can get into the building. See more about... I'm going to not focus. Before he gets to hear a sound. The sound of a baby crying. And this does alarm him. Him looking around and walking to the edge. Before trying to at least gain a bearing as to where that sound is coming from. Where the hell it could be. That, that's a baby. That's a fucking baby. No, it could be an infected. Like those lures, but... No, no, no. That is a fucking baby. The heartbeat, it's normal. It, it's fine. It, it's a real... Though... Wait. Deku focusing on the other sounds. Hearing people arguing. Hearing tons of... People. Hearing familiar voices. And then hearing Nedrais. As he doesn't hear such things as well. Currently, him going to turn and run down into UA. Before he does come moving down the hall and go to turn. Some people seeing him and bring up their weapons. Before he does go step out expressing, where is she? I have one looking at Deku. Before Anosa is told to lower his pistol by Momo. Her stepping forwards and expressing. Right now is not really the best time. She's let me see her. Him turning. Before bringing his hand up and pushing her out of the way with a little bit of force. Him moving over to the door and pulling it open. Before he has a walk into the nurse's office and see Setsuna. Her laying there as she does look a bit pale. Currently, Deku turning his head and seeing Nedre, who does hold a baby bundled in cloth. Her going to turn with the baby in her hands, somewhat trying to get the baby to calm down, before Deku stares at it. In his blood, it feels cold, colder than normal. And this does alarm him. Him walking over and... Looking at Setsuna, bending down. Hey, 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 hey. Her turning her head. And her eyes, they do to focus. <sighs> it's me. Hey, hey, I I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Is she okay? She'll be fine. Jizuki did what he could. Though she's gonna be sore. Also, tired? Izuku, it's Chizuki. What happened? I'll explain, just calm down. Okay? They go turning. Before Setsuna, she just doesn't lay there. Bring her hands up and asking Nedre for her son. And Deku doesn't hear that. The baby being handed over to her Ashes don't lay there, her holding onto it as it does make noise. Deku walking over to Nedre, who does go to grab him by the arm and begin to lead him out of the room, expressing, Right now they've got a problem. What is it? Why are all of you here? Why is she here? I thought you went with Chizuki to the manor. Izuku, the manor's gone. What? What the hell are you talking about? The manor was attacked. Uh, military guys. Tom. Oh, we lost Tomagi. Oh, no. Are you okay? Now is not the time. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just... I keep... It was on fire, wasn't it? Yeah, how, how do you know? The baby crying. Water. Are you okay? I... No, 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 no. 
that doesn't make sense. Uh, but, but how would I... How would I know? What is this? That's not right. Are you okay? What's going on in your head? Someone going to express. Can someone please explain what the fuck is happening? Deku turning his head before seeing a few people. And this is where Eri does come to run up. Her seeing Deku and pulling him into a hug. Izuku sitting there as if wanted to see her do this. Deku bring his hand down and telling Eri, Hey, maybe it's not the best time right now. Is she okay? Hers went crying and refusing to let go of him. And Izuku, he doesn't understand. Him patting her on the head for talking about it. Okay. Hi. Everyone staring at him. And everyone knew? They're still not sure what the fuck is going on. I, I mean, seriously, what the fuck? Uh, the, the Bakugo guy? You weigh zombies that listen to people? This guy who has powers and came back from the dead? What the actual fuck is wrong with these people? And the fact that that guy in there, is, he's going to die. Jesus. Deku turning. Him hearing Nedre express, he's infected. He needs help. Deku being pulled over to a room as Nedre does express to Eri, bending down. Right now, she needs to let go of Izuku. He needs to help Mr. Chizuki. He's not doing too good right now. Is he going to die? No, 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 no. Eri, listen. Uh, there's a room down the hall. Okay. I say go wait there. We're not going to let Mr. Chizuki die. Okay? He's good for our group. He's a good man. Uh, Mr. Chizuki's not... Huh? He's not a good man. He's scary. Helpful. But not a good person. Saved me, but he's scary. Not anymore, though. There's something scarier out there. Nedre, finger heart, tense. Before she said turn, asking someone to take Ari away. Because right now, she shouldn't be here for what might happen. And Deku does a step into the room. Dr. Chisi, somewhat sitting there in a chair. His notebook sitting in front of him as he's a turn with a flask in his hand. Currently his hand beginning to melt. It showing signs of clarification if you do want to give it that turn. Now, Deku stares at him. As the doctor does a knock back the flask talking about it. <clears throat> <laughs> you know, last time he tried that, he thought he saved the arm. Really? What happened? What did you do? I saved her. I saved the kid. It's a healthy baby boy. No signs of infection. And no signs of being sick. Though, might be stressed out for a while. Especially after what happened with the manor. Thank you. Thanks, Chizuki. I didn't do this for free. Listen, I'm... I'm infected. And I know you have the Get Out of Jail Free card. Okay? I knew you could save me. 
right? Listen, I need you to save me. My research is far too important. And if I die, I won't be able to help anybody. I understand that. There goes stepping forwards, bringing up his right hand, telling Dr. Chizuki, there's a lot they've got to discuss first. Though, he needs to know a little bit more before he does anything. And the man doesn't understand. Nedre is standing there as the man begins to tell his tale. Everything that's happened. Before all of this, he caught wind of singularity. At least that's what he thinks this could be. It doesn't make sense. Everything started to happen fast. Signs, symptoms, things that weren't of the ordinary. Whenever he turned his research inward, he saw what was happening. He already thought this was going to happen. But Ari, she was special. She helped him with his research. And that's... It's something else. You hurt her. If it was one life for every life of everyone on the planet, wouldn't you do that? Ever since I gave up on my research, I have been protecting that girl. If I didn't do what I was doing, she would have died. She killed her father. Her mother left her, and she was left with the Yakuza. What type of life do you think that child would have lived? Knowing she killed her father? I tried to help her. Get rid of this curse she's burdened with. What happens if she accidentally kills another person? Do you think that she could have lived with that guilt? Do you think that you can? I knew my ticket was punched. Right now, you need me. Do I? I saved your son. You did. You did. <sighs> Fuck. We're gonna lay down some ground rules. I haven't done anything. No more tests, no blood samples. You can ask her yourself. That child's been through enough, and I'm not going to hurt her anymore. I've already lost one arm. I've done what I can to make sure she stays safe and human. I have been the one to take care of her, to make sure she's safe, and keep her alive. Ever since we found out about what's been happening. Okay? She has become my family. It's been a long process, but she does trust me. I want to believe that. I would kill to save her, to protect her. If you help me, I'll help you. Do you understand? Deku is staring at Chizuki. The man explaining what his quirk can do. And Izuku, he does hear this. It does sound interesting. And this is where Izuku, he does stare down at Overhaul. Trying to t trust his gut. The man, he went out of his way to do a lot. He's been trying to stay in their good graces and listen to the rules. Yes, some things he does do are very unethical. But Deku is aware of them. Whoever this man used to be before and now are different. He wants to believe that. He wants to keep him around. If he can prove to be useful, then he can. Deku expressing that if he does anything to step out of line, he needs to know. 
this is not going to be a simple little deal. It's going to be very, very painful. It's going to hurt. And that is just changing. I assume so. No, you haven't. Now, here's one other thing you need to be aware of. Deku leaning in, expressing, if he even gets the whiff or idea he plans to try anything like that ever again, after he's infected, he is going to show him how durable they really are. Deku pulling back, and Jizuki, he does nod his head with a bit of fear in his eyes. And this does tell Deku everything he does need. The man's afraid of dying. But what's worse, he's afraid of not being able to not die. The alternative, certainly, is not better. Death would be quick and easy. The lights go out and whatever happens after happens. Though, he see what happens to the type Deku infects. Nedre came back, and she was dead. Mina was a corpse walking, but she's alive. Now, there is the others. The one person from the hospital, who he still has to understand more from his notes. Now, he does agree, and Deku, he does go to grab Chizuki, him going to grab him by the arm and pull it up, before he does go to turn. Him going to bring up a claw and slice it down into the man's arm, bring his wrist up, and going to slide his hand up, creating a cut along the part of his wrist long ways before he does gonna take some of the blood and wipe it in his hand. Currently him going to put the blood directly into Jizuki on the arm before expressing this is going to hurt and it is gonna be long and painful. Get comfortable and get drunk. It is gonna be pain unlike anything he's felt. And remember he's not gonna die the man nodding his head. Him going to someone sit there, turning back and grabbing his flask before he does begin to down the rest of it, trying to make sure he can get as comfortable as possible. And Deku does get a stand before he does go to leave the room and head back down to the nurse's office. Currently, him sitting outside the door as Nijere does sit there with him as well. Just trying to think. He doesn't know. <laughs> He's a father. He has a son. And everything that's happened. The military. All of them. Him annoyed. Him angry. But what pisses him off more is what Nedre has to tell him. Everything that happened at the manor. And exactly who might have been the ones to shoot Tamaki. And this, it certainly does not provide Deku with any form of joy. Especially after finding out what happened with the two. Now, with that being said, let us currently cut over to the shore by the beach, where I Island has finally drifted in, and the waves do go splashing against the seawall. Currently, them flooding over and going to run onto some of the streets. Before the beach, it does get completely flooded. I Island going to finally crash and set a massive amount of water flooding into the city. It's going to hit into some of the buildings and some of the old businesses that were here. Some of the zombies being swept up in the current and moving down the road. And causing a flash flood. 
Now, people who were in the area, they saw this. And someone, they were there whenever they saw one of the creatures begin to move. Begin to come out from that former theme park. And currently a man does stand there. Him going to stare through his rifle before he's to hear a sound. Him looking up as a creature does come flying down. It grabbing onto him and using its metal claws to smash into him. Before one of the arms do come out, a buzzsaw digging into the man's chest and tearing into him. Him screaming as the creature does get to let out a mechanical like growl. And this thing, it does get to smash him into the ground before tearing into his throat with its teeth. And it does get to scream. Currently, another creature flying down and going to grab him. Creatures begin to pull at the man's legs before using the saws they do have, beginning to cut him apart, beginning to mangle his body, his legs being cut off, his torso being ripped open. And one of the creatures, they do go to feast. As many of the other abominations do begin to make their way into the city. As all for one, he has a lookout. Him staring at I Island. Intrigued. Happy to see it. Curious to see it. And wondering about what to do. Because right now, he has a plan forming of his own. One that will certainly be interesting. Though with his advisor, he should be able to take it. No, not yet. Listen to his plan. He's loyal. <laughs> He'll certainly say that much. Though, hmm. Waiting. <laughs> he can wait. He's been waiting for centuries to do what he can to win. He's healed. More so than ever. Feels better than the prime of his own life. And that says something quite a bit special for the man. He'll listen, because he's got all the time in the world. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.